my floss tube. It's Brie here with Brie's Stitch and Stuff, and welcome to my channel. It's video number 13. Ooh, lucky 13. Um, today is May 6, 2020. So welcome. Thank you guys so much for coming by today and checking out my video. Um, and just being part of my day. And I'm glad to be a part of your day as well. So thank you to all my um, subscribers and commenters and likers. It's been so fun and I know I say that every single time but it's true it really really is um, being stuck at home and having very limited amount of people you speak to and see <laughs> it's nice being able to talk to multiple people so thank you so much if you are new um, I hope you like what I talk about which is gonna be cross-stitching and um, stick around so let's go ahead and get started um, I have some whips but I have a finish and then I have my plans and some haul just that kind of stuff and then I'll have some non stitchy stuff um, that I'll put towards the end of the video so real quick a little update um, my husband Travis is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy like he trains well he hasn't been training but he usually trains like five six days a week and so he, all of his friends do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which if you don't know what that is, it's similar to wrestling, but you can choke, <laughs> you know, you know, fun stuff. And um, so he has like a group chat that they all talk to each other, keep up with each other, whatever. And his one friend said he started watching my videos and now that's like their joke going between the, all of them when I post a video is, oh, pre reposted. <laughs> gonna learn how to cross stitch uh, but I think it's cute and it's really cute because um, Travis will make comments if I say something about cross stitch and he'll try to say like correct me on my terms if you will it's cute I love it <laughs> it's been fun it's so fun um, and then fangirl moments have any of you guys had fangirl moments mine are huge right now so I have met famous people, like TV people, movie people, band mate, you know, people in bands, all that. Not a big deal. I don't really care. Like, yeah, it's cool, but it's not that big of a deal. But you give me a YouTuber that comments on something, I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> it's so hilarious. It's so weird. I don't know why. I think it's because we get to know, like, the person on the other side of the camera. So much more personally than like a famous person you know what I'm saying like we know like about their family and about their hobbies because we're just talking and um so yeah I've been having I had a couple comments on my floss tube videos from Janet from Janet Jabber I about died I screamed when I got my first comment <laughs> it was amazing and then um Julie from Kansas City Girl in Colorado World commented. Again, I screamed and my husband's like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm like, they are commenting on my videos. <laughs> it's so dorky, I know. But I was, I was like total fangirling. And then over on Instagram, you know, people that you watch on, you know, FlossTube and um, that you hear people talk about and they'll like, like a picture and you're just like, oh. <sighs> I don't know maybe it's so dorky and so goofy but I love it and it makes my heart flutter and it makes my day so thank you so much to anybody anybody that comments it's been so fun <laughs> I love it um so yeah that is my little my little thing any of you guys have that where you have like your fangirl moments when somebody on like YouTube comments or likes or something like that. Does it ever happen to anybody else? It's just me? It can't just be me. It has to be other people. I had, um, real quick, back, when was it, 2015, I was part of Crafty Gemini. She does um, lots of tutorials on YouTube. She's been on YouTube forever. Um, but at the time, she was doing a quilting club. So, you, you know, you're a part of this club, you paid a fee every month, she had projects for you, there's a f separate Facebook group, all that kind of stuff. It was fantastic. And she would do live chats all the time, and um, so you just got to get to know so many people in the community. That's how Becky and Kimberly and um, I met, was actually through the Crafty Gemini Quilt Club. 
Well, I went on one of her retreats at Missouri Star Cool Company. So I got to meet Vanessa from Crafty Gemini and I got to meet Jenny from Missouri Star Cool Company. Plus I met like a couple of her, I think one of her kids or something like that. But I about died. I was like walking up to the retreat room like where they were th doing the retreat and Vanessa was standing on the other side of the door and it was a glass door and she's sitting there and she's like and I was like oh my god <laughs> like if I had a pen and paper I'd probably ask her for her autograph actually at one point I did ask her for her autograph and she's like a YouTube star <laughs> but um yeah it's crazy and Jenny Doan from Missouri, so Missouri Star Coat Company is super tall I'm 5'9 and she's a little bit taller than me. She's super tall. You never notice, like, when you watch videos of people, you don't notice, like, how tall they are or whatever. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> Let's get into cross-stitch. So, Mania started. And I guess I'm kind of more on the Stephanie Webb train of Sania. Um, I am just... Pick, I picked five projects to start this month, and that's it. And that's all I'm working on. Um, so... I guess I'm not doing Stitch Mania. I'm doing Stitch Sania. Um, so yeah. So my first few, five days, I worked on this welcome one from Cross Country Stitching. I can't, there's like a glare and it's backwards in my camera. Um, I'm working on this one. And I did start from the bottom up. I love this one. Actually, I was afraid that doing just one project for five days would be boring, but I actually love, love it because I got some good headway on it and like an actual start. So my goal was um, every day to pull it out and work at least an hour on the piece. Um, there was nights where I got to do a couple hours, but my goal was at least one hour, so. You guys! Look at how awesome that is! Oh my gosh! I actually did this bit wrong. <laughs> it's like two rows short, but I think it actually looks fantastic. So I didn't realize until I was more than halfway through and I wasn't gonna rip it out. So, but look at that! You guys, I am in love. This is from a 2004 magazine. <clears throat> Um, that's where I found the pattern and this was my unicorn chart that I got this year. Yay! Um, I'm doing this on 32 count Lugana. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's a train. Hang on. Hello. Our, our yard literally is right behind a train track. And they, um, I'm sorry. We don't have the arms that come down. So they just honk the whole way through because there's no arms to warn people like, hey, there's a train, there's lights, but you know, people don't pay attention to that. There, it's amazing how many people stop on the train tracks. You're like, really? Like there is a train that comes through here. Anyways, they're gone. Um, so this is on a 32 count Lugana and I just did some red tea dye on it. So you can see it's just kind of a little dirty looking. <laughs> Um, it's just a gray, um, so it was a white fabric with a gray, and then I am doing all the called for DMC on it. It has called for DMC and called for anchor. Um, I just went DMC because it's a little bit easier for me to get. And um, yeah, I'm doing two threads over two, and I am in love. So I'm kind of sad that I have to put this guy away, but look at those letters, you guys. I love this one. So yeah, so I'll put this one away and then I'll be starting my next Sania project um, today. I did though because um, <clears throat> since my last video I did work on another chart, my Serena, because it wasn't May yet so I had started working a little bit more on my Serena because I love her. She makes me happy. Um, this is from Lila Studio. Serena. I'm not doing it as a bag. I'm just going to hang it on the wall. Um, I just pulled my own floss to kind of make it look like the picture. I didn't have any any of the colors at all on the pattern, so I just pulled my own. <clears throat> and that's where I've gotten, you guys. 
it's so pretty it, this one's really hard to put down um, this is also on a 32 count Lugana that I dyed myself um, I did a teal and a gray mix <clears throat> and then I just dunked it a whole bunch of times until I got the look that I liked um, look at those spools of thread so I just did the um, I guess it's a satin stitch we just go all the way across in a long stitch and yeah I love it got work got some on the tail so the whole bottom's done um, I just have the mermaid a couple more fish and then this side has some greens and then this little wave up top but I'll put her away um, for now and then if I feel like working on her I'll probably pull her out even though I'm trying to stick to my five projects but I really really like this pattern and it's almost done so hang on I just love this you guys it's so pretty <laughs> And I was really impressed by this, so I have just, I'm just using <clears throat> DMC, and I did a blend of like a beige and a pink, and I love how it turned out, I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it just gives it a little dimension, it's beautiful, yay, I'm so excited, so that's all the stitching I got done this week, I do have a previous finish that I guys want to show you, I am all over the place, um, <clears throat> Kimberly got me this book. It's the do-it-yourself stitch people book. So you basically, um, I've showed it before, but here I'll show you real quick. You pick and you make these little cute like portraits in cross stitch form. So I had just gotten the book and I wanted to just try it and see. So I did one of my family. Let's see if I can get it out of glare. A little bit um and this is just a practice and this was an 18 count which the book recommend 14 count I didn't have any in this in my stash um I just had 18 count so I just did it just to see I'm gonna redo it though because I think the 14 count will um show off more of the details but I think it's cute my boys are like my my height now so it's sad um but yeah that was my previous finish so let's get into haul really quick, you guys. Um, I got some haul. Hang on, I need a drink. I finally got my, I, I get this late every month. I got Dress Cross Stitch Magazine. I get this way after everybody else posts pictures on it. This is a really cute um, edition. There is some really cute stuff in here. I... So, hang on, let me see if I can find it. This one, well, there's two of them that I really want to do at some point. I don't know when, but, um, because I have a million other things I want to work on. But these guys, they, I think they're the cutest thing ever. So, at some point, I want to do both these ones and get, like, a similar frame and everything and frame them. I just love them. A lot of back stitching, but they're really pretty. Very cute. So yeah, I thought this was a great um, addition this month, so or two months or whatever. So I wanted a project bag for my farm life. This guy that I got last time, um, and I was gonna make one myself, but I was checking on on Etsy and Pumpkin Hollow Quilts Olivia posted this beauty. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. And I think this is a vintage lace I think she says she uses. Um, so I got it. I had to. And then the inside is just like a real light neutral. Um, it's a really great bag. Um, and I'm going to get real technical here, guys. Hang on. It does have raw seams, but they're surged, which is okay, which is fine. It'll keep it from fraying on both sides. And it uh, feels more like a medium weight interfacing um, that she uses on the inside. So it's not, um, it's not poofy. It's more crisp, if that makes sense. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. And it's the cutest thing in the whole wide world. And she sent um, a handwritten note when she sent it and a cute little, she's a cute little business card and then a little candy. So, and it came in a really cute um, 
pumpkin envelope in the mail. There's these like, the cutest envelopes that they these companies put their stuff in. They're so cute. Like I got mine from um, my 805 Stitcher bag came in a flamingo bag. This one came in a pumpkin bag, and my next one it came in like a teal blue with like gold arrows on it. It's super cute. But yeah, pumpkin hollow quilts. Her Etsy shop. Just check it every once in a while. Sometimes she has a bunch and sometimes she doesn't. So I think it's just kind of whenever she um, has time to make some and throw them in the shop, she does. So um, she's over on Floss Tube as well. She's fantastic. I love her. And now I have some of her art. Yay! So I just have, I just, I got the fabric too as part of my next haul for Farm Life. So I'm excited to get that one started. That's probably going to be on my June 1st start list because I love that pattern. All right, so my next order came from Luminous Fiber Arts on Etsy, Misty Purcell. And I had to get this cutie. My friend Becky is stitching this one, and I just had to get it. So it's 90 by 74, so it's not real big. Um, and this is something I probably keep up all year. I like my patriotic stitches, so I just think it's precious. That cute little bird carrying a flag and wearing a hat. I mean, really. So I'm excited about this one. It's cute. Yay. And then I got my fabric for Farm Life, which was, hang on, I got two different kinds. So I'm trying to figure out which one I wanted to. So this one is Picture This Plus 32 Count Lugana. So when I went to order, so Misty does um, her own custom fabric. Um, but when I went on, she didn't have any of her fabric in stock. So it was just a picture of this plus, which was fine. It was beautiful. So this is the dabble. Dapple. Um, it's real pretty. And it's just real nice and modeled. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to use this one for my farm life project. Maybe. So I don't know if you guys, if I told, I told you guys before, but I don't know if, if you haven't been watching for a while, you probably didn't hear, but I had one of my first stitches when I sort of cross stitched, excuse me, was on a linen and I hated it. I hated everything about it. And I don't know if it was just, I know it was probably more because I just started I was trying to stitch in hand and I think it was just like the cheapest piece of linen that I could find. You know what I mean? It was just one of those things. So I've, since then I've stayed away from it because I was so worried that I was going to hate it so much. Well, the more I'm cross stitching and the more I'm getting patterns and reading them and looking for um, fabric online or whatever, or even in the stores, there is so much more linen options than like anything else. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe I just need to try some linen, give it a go and see because I'll find colors. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. And then I'll look and it's a linen. I'm like, oh, really? So I'm like, okay, maybe I just need to try it again and see if I stitch in hoop now. So maybe that will help. I don't know. So anyways, I got this. It's um, also a picture of this plus and it's 32 count linen and it's in the same color dapple. Um, so I'm going to give it a go and see. I might do farm life on this so pretty um so yeah we'll see I don't know yet. I haven't decided it feels very similar like um comparing them so this is the Lugana and this is the linen so the Lugana is definitely softer to the touch than this um but they have like the linen is a bit stiffer see how it kind of sticks out a little bit more so maybe this will be fine and it won't give me any issues so we'll try it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking of doing, I might do farm life on this one and then just save this for my stash because um, who doesn't need some neutral fabrics for your stash, right? <laughs> Alrighty, so that is it for my haul. My plans. So today is, maybe today's the 5th. No, today's the 6th. I don't know. Sunday was the third. And what's today? Wednesday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah, it's the sixth. Um, so I'm going to be starting my next project for my Sania. And the one I'm going to work on in my awesome 805 bag with Tula Pink fabric 
is oops the salt box quilt sampler here um, I am just doing the this I'm not putting in a box or anything I am using the all the called for flosses um, and then I am using my Fortnite fabric from I think February the stink home for it so yeah oh I'm so excited you guys I cannot wait and this cutie little bag came with a matching needle minder so I'll be able to throw that on there I actually don't use needle minders on my fabric I put uh, my needle minder on my um, lap stand there's a piece of metal and I put it on the piece of metal so yeah this will be my next one that I start so I'll work on this one for five days and then I'll switch to my next one so that I think is it for cross stitching I wanted to ask you guys a question and I need an opinion and I need you guys to let me know what I need to get <laughs> so I love stitching in hoop I um, have a few different size Q-snaps and I just don't love them so I've been using I have just the cheapy wood um, embroidery hoops that you can get at Michael's Hobby Lobby Joann's whatever um, and then I have one plastic and metal spring one which I like the spring one because it's super easy for my hand my hand I do all my crafts are with my hands my job is with my hands so my hands at times just hurt <laughs> let's be they just hurt sometimes so sometimes those little metal balls you know on the top of the embroidery hoop it hurts I can't tighten them so the spring one's nice because you just pinch it but it doesn't hold the tension real well on my fabric um, so I'm constantly having to tighten it so I wrapped my embroidery my own, one of my wood cheapy ones I wrapped it with that um, stick to itself tape just to see if it helped give it a little bit more stability and grip because they were just they felt flimsy to me um, but I don't love it like what hoops are good I don't want I don't like Q-snaps I want a hoop and I don't know what I've been look I was looking online and it's hard because a lot of people get hoops just for like finishing so I don't know what um, what hoops are good for actually stitching in opposed to just finishing so if you guys have any suggestions on a brand or a place that has hoops that um, I should look into that you guys love that holds good tension and that doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart um, I like the seven seven inch size seven to eight inch size um, hoop um, just because I like being in a smaller space when I'm working on my projects um, so if you guys know of anything let me know message me below um, email me message me on Instagram whatever and let me know if you guys um, know of a good hoop for me because I just I don't know I need something a little bit sturdier feeling for me and that holds my fabric a little bit more taut because um, after over time it kind of gets a little like you know flimsy inside there I need to retight it so um, yeah so if you guys have any ideas on that let me know um, floss tubers I watched this week so these are actually two new floss tubers to me they have like thousands of subscribers so obviously they've been around for a while um, but they're new to me they came up on my suggestions and I was like let's take a listen and see what's going on so the first one was Heidi Crane stitching one over one um, she's fantastic she is just she has some really pretty stitches and she's very precise on her finishing um, and she's just very like calming and sweet and kind like she's just like that you know that aunt that you just love to see every time you get together with your family um so her stuff is really pretty and she's just very sweet sounding I mean I don't know her personally but she seems like she's a very sweet sweet human being um, and then the next one was Melly Ellie stitches she is hilarious and I think she's in Michigan so she's a Midwest girl um, but she has a lot of great stuff that she's stitching as well um, and I just I like her energy she has a good vibe so go check them out I'll link them below in the comment or in the description box on their channels but they're definitely someone you can add to your list of people to watch um and then always I always watch my normals my you know you know the you know Becky and Kimberly and Nicole 
Je um, Pam and Steph, Janet, all them. There's many, many, many. And then Fresh Coast Stitchers, Tracy, and Stitching by the Shore. Oh, I don't think I mentioned her. Stitching by the Shore. Oh, her name is escaping my brain right now. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. And she has some really great stuff. And she's an Ada Stitcher, too. So, Stitching by the Shore. I'll mention her below. Let me write this down so I don't forget. <laughs> Um, she's really great and she's great with like commenting on videos and if you comment on her she responds back um, she's super great and I love her her stitching there's a lot that she does that I screenshot so I can do later so anyways uh, Mother's Day is coming up this weekend so I hope if you are able to celebrate with your family or at least able to do you know hang out in the driveway with your mom I hope you get to do whatever you need to do this weekend to be able to celebrate your mom or any mom in your life. Um, we don't have any plans. I want hot wings, so I'll make some hot wings. And then my daughter loves baking, so I'm sure she'll bake something for me. But I think it's supposed to be really crummy weather this weekend. I think it's supposed to be rainy. So we don't have any plans. We can't really go anywhere. All We're in Illinois. And... Pretty much all the state parks are closed, so like we can't even go hiking. Forest preserves are open, um, but our tradition for years and years and years has been going down to Starved Rock and going hiking for the day, and then nobody in the family can complain because it's Mother's Day. <laughs> so, but Starved Rock's closed right now, which is a bummer because I love going down there, but that's okay. We'll find something to do, um, but yeah. Has anybody else... Okay, I'm done with my cross stitch. So if you don't want to listen to cro any more of my, my jibber jabber, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, take care. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep talking for a minute. I just have a couple other things I wanted to say and show you guys real quick that's not cross stitch related. So, um, so I've gotten to that point where I love being by myself. Like, I love my family. I love spending time with my family and friends. I do. I love being alone like I strive in my day-to-day -day life having that time where I'm completely alone where nobody's home no one's around and I can just recharge basically is what it is I need to recharge so we don't I don't have that right now we have a tiny house like we live in a really small house um, there's five of us <laughs> we have one bathroom there's nowhere to go to get away nowhere unless I hide out in my bedroom like I am right now but it's still, you know, someone will text me or knock on the door and be like, Mom! Um, <clears throat> which, you know, that's what it is. But I need that alone time to recharge for my mental well-being. And I've been like that my whole life. So I've got to the point where I'm just getting in my car and driving. Has it happened to any of you guys? I know Stephanie Webb said that she has done that as well, where she's just gotten in the car and driven. But yeah, I've gotten to that point where I'm just like, I'm going for a drive. I'm getting in my car and I'm going for a drive and listen to my music and be alone. My daughter the other day, because I was like, I'm going for a drive, I need to get out. She's like, can I come with? I'm like, if you don't talk. <laughs> and that sounds horrible, but I just needed that time to just have peace and quiet. So we went for a drive the other day and um, we, my mom and my sister and I used to live in a house like two towns over. And my aunt and my uncle and my um, two cousins live like two houses away from us. So we, I drove over there, showed my daughter where Jenny used to live. I showed her where I used to live. And then my husband, when we first met, lived just up, you know, up the street a bit from there. So I showed her where her dad used to live. And we just drove around for like a half hour, 40 minutes just to get out of the house. And um, I've been doing that a lot lately. Like, I ran over um, to my mom's the other day. She's going through chemotherapy, so I made her some hats. Because her hair's starting to come out, but not totally come out. Um, so she just had her first treatment this week. So she's just not sure. So I made her some hats. Um, so I dropped them off the other day, and then I just went driving afterwards. I didn't even have my cell phone on me. Like, I just left. But yeah. I don't know if anybody else is having, having that going on. Um, and then, so I'm a huge Twilight fan. I love Twilight. I went to all the video, like all the showings of the movies every time they came out. Always the oldest person in the theater. 
Um, I had a couple really good co-workers when they were all coming out and we would read the books together and we would go see the movies together. I'm obsessed. Whenever I am feeling down or need to veg out, I'll watch Twilight. Like, that is my thing. My sister-in-law and I, we watch Twilight all the time. Or talk about it at least. And, um, they are coming out with another book. I think it said in August. It's going to be from Edward's point of view, which I'm excited. He is not my favorite character. I don't like Edward. Like, he's just not. I'm Team Jacob all the way. But it will be neat to see it from his point of view. I'm excited. Like, super excited. So, yeah, I think it comes out in August, and I cannot wait. Like, I don't buy a whole lot of books. I'm more of a library girl. Um, just because I can read a book and then I'm done. I rarely read them again. So, um, I think I will probably buy that one though. <laughs> I cannot wait. I know, I don't care that it's a young adult book. I'm going to read it and buy it. So, I've been quilting, you guys. So, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law had a baby back in March. Their third. So, let me see if I can show this a little bit. Um, they had a little boy. I hope she doesn't watch my videos because then she just lost the surprise. Um, yeah, just a sweet little, a little quilt. I made one for their last kid. And then, um, and I put my little label down here. I always put who I made it for, my name, and then the city and state I live in and the year I made it. I put them on all my quilts. Unless I sold it, unless I'm selling it online. I've only done that a few times. Um, if it's not like a personal gift, I won't put that information. I'll just put that I made it. But um, yeah, I'm excited. So my sister-in-law had a, her oldest baby was before my brother-in-law. So she was like two, I think, when I met her. And I haven't made her quilt yet. So I had um, ordered some fabric for her. I just got it in the other day. So I'll start that as well and get that in the mail, hopefully here in the next couple weeks. But yeah, that's all I've been working on, guys, which just seems like a lot. But hopefully the weather will be will hold up for me here so I can go outside and go for a walk go for bike rides um last couple days has been raining so I haven't been out but um anyways thank you guys for sticking around sorry for the long video today um but yeah I hope you guys all have some great stitching time have a wonderful mother's day and um just you know keep connecting with other people humans need that contact with other people so just make sure you're making your connection somehow. If you ever need anybody to talk to, message me. Um, I'm always around. I literally do nothing. Um, I'm really good at responding to Messenger, like on Instagram. They have that, you know, private messaging or whatever it's called. Um, here, email. If you ever need anything, just send me a message. I'm here. And there's hundreds of other people that are there for you as well. So make sure you try to enjoy your day and enjoy your stitching time and stay happy stay healthy and stay calm i'll see you guys later peace